I am heated up. I hate that little girl. I want to push her down a staircase. At least like three stories. That little bitch. Not Flora. The big sister. Christina or something. She's dead to me. And I love it that I have like a little fucking brat that I'm beefing with because that's my shit. Spirit Chronicles is... I mean, it's kind of like itching that like trashy isekai vibes, right? So we haven't really been introduced to crazy plot points and stuff like that, but our man got reincarnated, but the memories were unlocked at this current age. We got done dirty by some of the bad faith actors in the kingdom. I don't think everyone's like that. The vice captain sucks though. He was just trying to basically just find a scapegoat and make, you know, our main character Rio to, you know, accept that like, hey, I'm the one that actually kidnapped so the vice captain can get away. We're about to get into some spicy moments. The king wants to have an audience with us and the vice captain is there too. Like, is the truth gonna come out? Well, let's begin today's reaction. Did we skip the king meeting? I'm illiterate. Seria is so kind, so nice. Okay. Main girl, man. Mmm, are we gonna have a lot of like discrimination and classism of like, oh, you poor piece of shit, how dare you talk in the grace of her majesty like a bunch of like prideful nobles that we're gonna shit on? Uh, just a little what? Just a little what? Also, I didn't realize that Seria is like way taller than us. Bro, look at the size difference between Ryu and Seria. I thought that we were pretty similar. What the fuck? I know my place as a peasant. I just expect a bunch of the kids to be like, "Ew, poor, poor." Royal Academy is today's episode. Yeah, be nice to him. Wait, wait, wait. Did we see the slums? Hold up. Transfer students. He'll be joining to start today. His name is Rio. No one said that he's from the slums, right? No, the rumors spread that he's from the slums already. Shit. Oh, disgusting. Oh, all of these annoying fucking kids. I want to... This show is going to be perfect in terms of, like, how angry I'm going to get with these kids. Like, like, I ain't holding back. All these kids are just gonna push them down at the fucking ground. Wow, the mannerisms he learned. Flora, college student, let's go! Dude, that kid is so upset. This kid is so fucking mad at us. I, I, I don't even know you. I'm just existing. What is your problem? Maybe he has a crush on Flora or something or like Sedia. And like because of our closeness to the girls, he's gonna hate us. So humble. <laughs> die, die. <laughs> Fuck you. Seria actually teaches. I thought that she was gonna be like a student. I, uh, okay. Like, either Seria is incredibly gifted and talented and is a prodigy genius, or like, the school just can't even fucking pay teachers. They're gonna kids to teach other kids. Wow, you're good at math. Alright, the basement. Private tutoring lessons. That's a totally different Seria. I've so far she was like Oh, hello, I'm so gentle and nice. Don't you, can't you fucking read the sign, bitch? Who are you? Uh, I, think we're to, I think we're seeing the true side of her. So she really didn't mean it when she would tutor us? 
Cap. Disorganized genius. How old are you again? 12 year old professor. Again, is this child labor or is she just so fucking talented that she's like, you know, basically a grown ass adult teacher? Primary school, yet she's a professor. Okay. <laughs> that Seria that showed up and said, can't you read the fucking sign, bitch? I like that side of Celia more. I want, I want to see more of that, actually. It's more spicy than just, you know, this angelic goddess. Oh, we're talented. I mean... I don't know exactly how much this lines up, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna expect that this is pretty much, like, elementary school math. And, like, our man is, like, 20-year-old, like, university student. So there, there has to be some, like, overlap of intelligence. And, like, you know, isekai math, sure, but there's gotta be something similar, right? Yeah, okay, 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 it is. <laughs> Dumbass fucking kids can't even do mental math in their heads. Oonga boongas. Christina can, though. Elite prep school kid? Yeah, you mean like it's a university student versus 10 year old kids? <laughs> and it's gonna be even funnier. Because, like, I don't think he's really gonna lash out on the kids. Because they're children to him. He's a grown ass fucking man. So, like, this is gonna be hilarious. Back in my old life, don't worry about it. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that was a cool transition scene. Boom. So far, the production value of this show is pretty good, is it not? What she put in the tea? She spiked that, bro. He should become literate with this world's alphabet system and he'll be pretty just set off. Alright. Good, good. We're getting some fucking practical martial arts. I want to fucking duel Christina and just destroy her. You too. They're saying English. Numbers. He was looking kind of like a hater last episode because him and the vice captain were in the same frame, just looking kind of like hostile towards Ryo, I think. But maybe it's in my head. <laughs> you can actually. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> he's like this full on instructor. I don't think this is gonna be like a spar. I think he's trying to like humiliate Ryo right now in front of the kids. And like if we ignore the fact that we're a grown ass man and we're a 10 year old body, like, are you serious? Are you fucking serious? Oh, oh shit. <laughs> Basically, Kendo, right? I think that the style that we have is Kendo and like it's like the Japanese style of like the simple just like default straight attack but there's like no opening seemingly and they're like whoa what is that style? Was this style be a thing from Yagumo? The nation far to the east basically this world is Japan like I bet you they fucking do that shit there. Yeah, man, he's like elite trained huh by the sword. Batu. Oh, okay. It doesn't look to me that the instructor is trying to humiliate him. I, I really thought that he was really trying to like show him up in front of the other kids or something. Oh, shut up. Oh my god. He's gonna be like, <laughs> the buffoon fights like a savage. What kind of form is that? So uncultured. Christina, I don't think, is really being a hater. 
I think Christine is gonna slowly come around, right? First impressions are bad, but I think she's slowly starting to realize that this gets for the real deal. And like, I bet like she's gonna be basically soon today, waifu. Here's the problem. <laughs> They're 10 year old kids. We are a university students before and now we're 10. <laughs> Classic isekai. Not a knight? What does he want to be? Yo, the girls love that. Both these two. Christina's like, whoa! He really is so cool! So, yeah, we're on the grind. Locked in. We better score top. These dumbasses, they have to fucking say the number out loud. Mouth closed, everybody. You gotta do your math in your head. One, two, three. I don't know how to add the numbers. Go, 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 go. Fuck you, dumbass kids. That's right. Look at him. He's already in the fucking last question. This girl is very cute, though. This blonde girl right here, with the curls and the ribbon thing, her design is fucking peak. I'm gonna bring you a unit called Faithless Lydica from Epic 7, which is one of my favorite cleave units. And... Here she is. No, this is not Faithless. This is Faithless Lydica. Here's some, uh... A good picture of... Uh, sure, why not? This is like fan art. She's got that, like, blonde curls with that little headpiece thing, right? It's like that. I'm not sure if that's like the Ojo-sama rolls, but this design is very nice. Rose from Eminence and Shadow? Maybe. Oh, it's like a campus light. Mi-chan cocked this, remember? Mi-chan was with like an Ikemen dude. What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, the only way that we can like rise up against this prejudice is to just prove it with our merits. If you're like the top like athletic or academic student, they can still honestly still like not respect you though. They'll still be like, oh, you must be cheating or try to downplay it. So hold up. How did, oh, we're talking in third person right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Haruto was us before. Mm. He talks in like third person for Haruto, huh? Okay. What Koki for Marifurata? No! She just dropped out? She just disappeared? Well, I think, I mean, <laughs> clearly she might be like the pink haired goddess or something. I, I think that like she definitely like got isekai to some reason, right? Because, like, he's thinking that she just disappeared one day, but I think that she got Isekai before us, right? Okay. Top marks. Top marks. Yo, we tied? Christina and us. Yes, Rio and Christina. And then the um, blonde girl with the rolls the third place. Nice. The only mistake was the night you were conceived because condoms doesn't probably exist in this world, you fucking idiot. What does it say about you? That you couldn't even beat a monkey from the slums that was illiterate. Hmm? What does it say about you, bro? Yet I am though, but I'm doing it though. Alphonse. Oh, let's go, blonde rolls. The jealousy of a gentleman is unsightly. <laughs> I spit on you. So classy. Fake news, brother. Where's the source? Ooh, Christina, backing us up. Alright. My beef with Christina is pretty much gone now. Christina is vouching for us. 
I think that she's acknowledging, you know, that Ryo is the real deal. Alright. <laughs> okay, what can I do about it? <laughs> fucking loser and his lackeys, bro. We gotta fucking duel him. We need to throw, bro, one of these things, right? Fucking... One, one, one more time. Did you see that? Fuck you. I challenge you to a duel. We gotta, we gotta do something like that, bro. Alright, alright, alright. It, it, it's healthy competition. That little... Mm, no, that, that's, that's the Sundari appeal. I don't think she's a hater. They're just... They, they acknowledge the real deal, but like... Mm, they're slowly warming up to us. I think the blonde girl's design is even better, though. And the blonde girl has the best design of all the girls so far. Why, that we're smart? Oh, we're like a bigger target now. No, probably because she's from a little background. Also from a poor standing? Oh. <laughs> Does this count as us flirting with the teacher? But the teacher is 12 years old and we're 10. You are a child. Yeah. I think we're friends. Are we not? Are Rio 7? I thought he was 10 here. Oh, she's flustered. Yep. Yeah. A sensei would never act like this to a student. You bring it out on that. Like, what, what is it? It's, she is kind of soon, right? That's a little bit of soon today. She made a really cute face here. That I don't mind. Seven-year-old rises up a 12-year-old. Damn. My man's so smooth. What bosom? You're fucking 12. All of you are fucking planks. <laughs> You're small. <laughs> so in terms of positioning. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> that was kind of funny. Oh, we're not fucking around now. We're immediately getting into the exhibition tournament. Oh, 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 oh. I can't wait to meet that Alphonse fucker in the tournament. Let's go. He's 60 -er. <gasps> Hi. Time skip has happened, right? Has there been a time skip? There has been a time skip, right? The uh, voice acting is different. I wasn't paying attention to like the 966 heavenly year, whatever, but it, it's been a time skip, right? What? We can't use magic. But we were using magic in the first episode by reinforcing our body. The whole blue aura shit. What's up with that? Beat me in the tournament, pussy. Christina didn't get selected though. Man, Christina has the biggest fucking stink eye for us too. But uh, I don't, I don't really know. But uh, okay, okay. Something about the magic. You know, he can't use magic, but it maybe it's like a totally different thing. What the pink haired goddess showed us last time. <laughs> Seria is seventeen now. Rio is twelve. We don't want to be a knight though. She's so short. Oh, we're taller than her now. Oh. 12 year old Riz. <laughs> he's so tall, even though he's 12. Wow. Hmm. Ripe old age of 12, huh? <laughs> Did she grow at all? I don't think Seria really grew. That's a concern. 12 to 17 is developmentary phase. And you didn't grow? Oh no, she's stunted. I think it's over. 
I think it's over. There's no puberty for her. She's already gone through it. Yeah, we don't want to be in there. Well, I'm expecting him to go to different places because, like, we meet like uh, like furry girls right in the opening. And there's a bunch of like traditional Japanese clothing too, which is yagumo. So I'm sure he's gonna go traveling around. Yeah, this country sucks, bro. What? Sounds like a you problem. You want to be your butler? ご結婚のお話があるのでしょ。何一つじゃ。得体の知れない平民が研究。気はないんですけど。ま、先生の自由だとは思います。Yes. That is absolutely true. You didn't change from 12 to 17. The number went up, but your body didn't. Oh, a woman. Edge of the wilderness. That's right. Our Isekai mom. Tournament happening. Okay, let's go. Alright, here we go. How much of that tournament are we getting? I think this is the guy that we even fight in the opening, right? He's probably like, what, the captain of the night? The ladies love him. <gasps> Here we go, Ryu. Against two. Alphonse, maybe? Who is it? Oh, shut the fuck up. Get out of here. Bite me in the stadium, bitch. Against two. <laughs> wait, 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 the, from the Knights of the Royal Guard? Wait, I, th I, I, th I thought we were supposed to be fighting other kids. What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait what, what are we doing right now? I thought this is a tournament of kids. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> this guy sucks, he tortured us. I can't believe he didn't go punished. Like, he straight up didn't even get punished, huh? I thought the king would do something. Like, bro, now's the time for punishment. Ooh. Let's go. Let's go. No shield needed? Okay. Yagumo style. Oh, okay, he did get demoted. Great, that's great. Okay. That's on you, bro. I don't know. Why did I get even plan this way? What does this prove? The virgin western style of using a one hand sword and a fucking shield versus. The Sigma Giga Chad Eastern style of just fucking Kendo. Yep. Japanese, you know, steel never fucking loses, even though this is wooden. He's still lost, bro. Oh. Bro, demoted five years ago. Gets beaten by a 12 year old that he tried to fuck over five years ago. And now he gets humiliated in front of the entire stadium here. And even the knight's captain is like admonishing him. But he's not gonna go down like this. He's probably gonna do more shitty shit in the future. I don't believe it. This guy's gonna come after force in the future, man. Imagine we get the vice captain position, bro. I thought that Alfred was always like the uh, the main captain, but like imagine like you know we get out with fucking his position right now. Mm. I was so wrong about this mustachio guy. I genuinely thought that he was gonna be like a hostile noble guy, but he's been like Rio's biggest fan ever since the swordsmanship shot. Even Christina's clapping. <laughs> very. Christina has a very um odd look. It's a very stern look. But she's not really hating. She's just like... 
I, I think it's a look of admiration and respect, but she can't let her resting bitch face go away. So she's like, hmm. <laughs> we will look after your career with great, uh, ah, for, I forgot what Palpatine says to Anakin there. We'll be looking at your career with great interest or something. They're all pre-ordering Ryo. He's not gonna go down easily though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's he with? I'm shady, dude. Glaze. Cope. Honorable ambassador of the Proxia Empire. Okay, so the ambassador. Wait, isn't this the guy that was in the hood? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Isn't this the dude from last episode with the hood on? You know, the explosion shit? <laughs> okay, so now we can connect some more plot points. So my theory was that they kidnapped Flora, but it was random bandits doing some random shit. But the actual assassins are from the Proxia Empire. They had full intentions of, you know, taking down like important peoples of the royal family in this kingdom or empire. And this ambassador right now is buttering up this fucking retard. And, you know, he's going to be a liability, he's going to get closer, and then some other shit's going to happen. So, oh boy, oh boy, we're getting eaten out alive from within. Hmm, <laughs> that's right, the Flora incident, right? Last episode. <laughs> It was, honestly. He was there. Oh, Seri is so cute. I'm getting confession letters! Yo! They're all glazing Ryo with a wow, he's so cool. He took down like a. Ex Knights Captain, Vice Captain. It was Sedia. Sedia's behind this tree, right? I think she's listening. Sedia, wait. Sedia, your pre order child is getting away. A 12 year old kid, come on. You gotta fucking intervene as a 17 year old right now. Sedia getting cooked. And that's another episode of Spirit Chronicles. And bro, this anime is fun as fuck to watch. I don't know what's happening in season 2 or the future, but the first two episodes of Fury Chronicles is like right up a rally of all just like these classical tropes of isekai shit happening and so much like just 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 fun ranting and you know just the heated fucking angry reactions like me just having beef with these kids is always fun. Christina? I think she's pretty chill. Right? First episode? Goddamn she sucked, but I think she's toned down definitely a lot. And she's definitely, like, uh, recognizing Rio's merits. Alphonse, go fuck yourself, bro. He's still on site. The mustachio instructor, totally wrong about him. He does care about Rio. I thought that his intention was to humiliate Rio in front of the other kids, but nah. He's not a shitty person at all. He believes in Rio's swordsmanship. Sedia, crazy that, you know, a girl, five-year age gap, but she was 12, already a professor. 17, no growth. And our goal is not to be a knight, but to go traveling. He wants to go to Yagumo, so somehow we'll... I don't know, learn some stuff about there, about our family. Now, it's interesting how we can't use magic, but I've seen him use magic. But maybe the magic system that the pink haired goddess kind of told us to use is completely different than what we're, what's expected of people around here. I'm not too sure. All I remember is that blue aura stuff happening and then, you know, our body being cladded against it and it was like a reinforcement armament hockey kind of stuff, but Curious to know what's going on there. It's cool to see, you know. I thought that really Alphonse was going to be shit on, but no. We got the shitty vice captain who got demoted that you humiliated him again. And of course this idiot is being buttered up by, you know, comp like uh, neighboring nations. Maybe they're hostile towards us as an ambassador, but clearly they are trying to do some shady shit, right? We haven't even seen Flora all today's episode either. I wonder what they're really cooking with Flora, but... That's it from me. And if you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.